Hello everybody, Canadian Futures Trader here. It is December 29th in the evening. You can actually see the time right here. It's 9.35 p.m. Uh, day 3, top step, step 2, 150k account. A uh, quick recap of what happened on days 1 and 2. Day 1 uh, was actually Christmas Eve. I did one trade, $200 winner roughly. Um, day 2, which was Monday, I traded Sunday evening, but Monday trading day. Um, huge loss yesterday, super took a beating, down 2,500, you can watch that video if you want to hear that tale of woe, but basically in a, a matter of a couple trades, I just uh, took a beating, so um, I will, quite honestly, I didn't have a lot of hope, I was feeling pretty down on this account, um, it was tough, uh, I traded the bonds, and you know, it, it, it can be a bit tough to uh, to get big winners, and uh, it honestly kind of sucks trying to dig yourself out of a hole, but I've done it before, and Happy to report, you can see here, I did pretty well today. Now, I still am in the hole, in quotes, if you want to call it the hole. Um, I did uh, two trades, and I managed to make, you see over here, 1600 almost exactly, uh, in profit. So my account balance up here, 149334 So I'm still below the starting point, but it's much more... I guess manageable at this point, much more hopeful. Uh, this is only day three. So, uh, so yeah, so I was happy with this. Um, I don't 100% know that I'm done trading. I'm done trading for tonight. I want to make this video. Um, I don't typically trade in the mornings. I can. I just find I have more, uh, you know, peace and quiet in the evenings, if you will, to, to, to trade. So um, that's why I try to get my trading done in the evening. But that said, I might possibly trade this account tomorrow morning. If I do, and if anything dramatic happens, big win, big loss, I'll make like a part B to day three, but uh, otherwise if I either don't trade or if I'm going to trade and nothing really happens, uh, I'll just wait till day four and update you on that. So, uh, show you what happened with the bonds. So today, um, this is a 15 minute chart for the bonds where I was trading was right in about um, somewhere in here. It doesn't earmark where it's at, um, but I caught a big piece of this. So I was short and uh, caught a nice piece of this. I got out somewhere right around here and glad I did. Um, I was following it with a very tight stop because um, I did not want to give up any, any of my profit. And it worked out well. As you see, since that big sell off, it's basically just kind of bounced around a little bit. I mean, this is still a significant amount, um, but really it's just about a 10, 11 tick um, range here, which is still a lot. But um, yeah, I was happy to catch this big fall and um, possibly call it a day. So I'm going to show you trader view just to um, so the two trades, this is actually the entire top step account since day one. So there's day one, I made 187. Day two, um, took these big hits, $15 or $1,500 hit. Should have stopped trading then, but to, took a few smaller hits. And one final blow for the day, 750. So that was yesterday. Today, two trades. Um, this was a smaller scalp um, as the price was starting to fall. You know, I was looking for it to break lows. Um, trailing with a pretty tight stop. Again, you know, I wanted to capture any profit that I got. I had a, had a pretty big hole to dig myself out of. Um, so I got that. I ended up getting back in um, to go short again because it really didn't show any strength um, for, of the price rally. Went short again and caught that big downward move, um, 1400 which is a pretty, I mean, obviously that's a big amount. Um, you know, trading three contracts in the Ultra Bond, every tick is basically $93. So whether you round that up to a hundred, um, this is about a 14 tick move. So it's actually a little bit more than that. That's probably about a 16 tick move, um, 16 or 17 tick move, uh, trading the three contracts. So that's a big move in the bonds. So, um, was super happy to get that. And again, that was what I showed you in, uh, in trade of eight. Uh, that was that, uh, that big drop. So Again, I locked it in. I kind of watched the market, watched it, didn't really do much. Logged out, logged back in a few hours later. It still isn't doing much, so definitely going to call it quits for the evening. And then, like I mentioned, might possibly trade in the morning if I have um, time to do so and I feel like I'm in a good place to do it because, believe me, there's nothing, um, you know, I'd be perfectly happy calling it a day and locking in, you know, this profit, uh, whatever it was, almost uh, um, locking in the 1602 in profit. Um, and then go into day four with the goal probably just to get back to about 150 quite honestly um so yeah so there you go so that's my update on top stuff pretty happy with it of course still will be happier once i'm back kind of out of this hole and uh, working on actually getting somewhere with the account but 
given where it was, I'm really happy. Everything's just kind of relative to where things were. So uh, I would take a $1,600 profitable day any day. So that is it, guys. Hopefully you enjoy these videos. I'll catch you on day four of Top Step. Be sure to check out my one-up uh, videos if you want to see um, where I'm at with that. Just finished day nine. Had another terrific day. So really happy with that account. Really um I don't want to say I'm on cruise control, but it's 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 progressing at a nice even pace towards the goal line. So that account is, is definitely uh, in in nice shape. And then I made an additional video today, just kind of going over my trading checklist that I that I kind of read before I trade. Um, and I'm not talking like pre market prep, like oh I think the bonds are gonna do this. No, it's much more just about uh, trader mentality. So I'll leave you with that. Thanks for watching, guys. Appreciate the comments. Appreciate the follows. Hopefully you enjoyed the videos. I will continue to make content, not just my daily updates, but I'll also um, try to create more of the content. I will make videos going over jigsaw a little bit more and trading on the dom and how I'm actually trading. I mean that's one uh, one of the requests I saw was you know how do you actually you know what are you looking for like what are you using to decide to make these trades. Um, so I'll get into that a little bit more at some point as well. Um, possibly even tomorrow morning if I have time, I'll try to make a video and just, I'll do it on a practice account and kind of show you, um, you know, what I'd be looking for. So let's it, guys, everybody have a terrific evening and I'll catch you in the next video.